Hey dolls! Today I'm super excited to show you this custom hybrid Barbie Fashion Fever doll that I bought online. So this doll is Fashion Fever Sparkle and Shine Teresa from 2006. And I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like 2006 was one of Barbie's best years and this doll is no exception. She's kind of unique for a Fashion Fever doll because she was part of a holiday wave of Fashion Fever dolls, which I think is kind of interesting. I decided to buy this doll because she's very unique looking and Fashion Fever is my favorite Barbie line of all time. And of course, I bought her because she's been rebodied onto a made to move body. The original doll only had the basic five points of articulation with Ben and snap knees, and I strongly prefer to have more articulation. The outfit she's wearing right now is fairly simple, but I really like these colors on her. These boots are so cool and unique. I like the rose pattern and the painted on black details. The doll's original outfit was this festive green dress. It was pretty fancy compared to the more casual outfits that most other Fashion Fever dolls wore. And maybe that's also why she has rooted eyelashes, because she's like a fancier looking doll, which by the way, I absolutely love her rooted eyelashes. I'm so impressed that this is a Playline doll with rooted lashes. And look at how gorgeous this doll is up close. She has a Teresa face mold, which I'm very happy about because the last doll that I had with a Teresa face mold, um, her head fell off. <laughs> so I decided what better time to get a new Teresa doll. And I know I can fix it, I know, but I'm too scared. <laughs> but anyway, she has a cute hairstyle and her hair is really soft. But I think one of my favorite parts of this doll is her bright green eyes. They are so stunning and I think it's a really unique color that I haven't seen on a lot of other dolls. I love her side glancing eyes and that confident, nonchalant expression. I can't get over how beautiful this doll is. I'm so happy to have her in my collection and I can't wait to use her in future projects. I know she's gonna fit in with my collection really well. But what do you think of this doll? And have you gotten any cool dolls lately? I would love to know in the comments. And also, if you have any name suggestions for this doll, leave a comment with that too. I like to name all of my dolls. So before I go, I wanna talk about my uploading schedule. Since it's December and the holidays are coming up, or as I like to call it, the doll days I'm sorry. <laughs> I wanna give you some extra content. So I'm temporarily changing my uploading schedule this month from one video a week to two videos a week. For the month of December, I'll upload one unboxing video every Friday and one other doll themed video every Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed the extra content this month. That's my doll day present to you, I guess. Plus, this will help me clear out some room in my doll storage because I have a few dolls that have been just sitting in the boxes for longer than I'd like because I haven't gotten around to making unboxing videos yet, so this will help me out too. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's all I've got today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe if you want and watch my YouTube original series Mind Games. Also follow me on Instagram at MillieWillowsDoll and Twitter at MillieWillows59 and I will see you in the next video. Bye!